Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Google Pixel Tablet. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 500 bucks. Now on a side note, this is a great deal. For 500 bucks, you get in the tablet and the wireless charging speaker dock included in the box. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. This one comes in three different colors. You got porcelain, rose, and hazel. For the display, you got a 10.95 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1600 by 2560. Now that's 276 for the PPI Patrol. You got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 13 with Google stock skin on top. Now the battery is 27 watt hours, which is good for around 12 hours of video streaming. You got an eight megapixel camera in the rear and an eight megapixel camera in the front. Both shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. You got quad stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, a fingerprint sensor, the speaker dock included, and a guaranteed five years of updates. All right, so all of that for 500 bucks, what's missing? There's no IP rating, so it's not water resistant. No 120 hertz refresh rate, no face unlock, no expandable memory, no Super AMOLED display, and no stylus support. This is just a clean, smooth tablet for 500 bucks. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Here we go, Google Pixel tablet. 500 bucks for 128 gigs, 600 bucks for 256 gigs. Nice clean white box, yeah, I know I like that. Giggity. Now, of course, I've been using this for a couple of days, so I'll put it back in the box for the dramatic effect. Okay, this is going to be a tablet. I went with the hazel color. Let's see what else you get. Now, this is going to be your usual books and shit. Plug them and file them. Okay, flick of the wrist. Okay, <laughs> the charger is included in the box. I respect that. This is a proprietary charger because this is for the speaker dock. And speaking of the speaker dock, check this out. Nice hazel color to match the tablet. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, late but still great. White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. Now y'all see White Shoes is official <laughs> cable inspector. So she came in right in time. I shoes inspect that for quality. All right, so let's take a look at the actual tablet. Aluminium on the back. Aluminium frame. Glass on the front. Let's get a little wipe down. Like I said, I've been using this. So I got a bunch of smudges on it. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's hit that power button. Now, the power button is also your fingerprint sensor. Okay, so power button, fingerprint sensor, volume up and down, USB Type-C charging slot on the bottom, two of your quad speakers on the bottom, also two quad speakers on the top. Simple and clean. On the back, you got your pins, just in case you want to use uh, one of the uh, accessories. Minimum branding, just a little G. All right, so let me uh, power this up, connect to my Wi-Fi, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, this is more of an in-the-house kind of tablet because there's no IP rating, so it's not water-resistant. But you do have the frosted aluminum on the back, no fingerprints, okay, a little Google brand in, your pins. I like this tablet because I can easily palm this in one hand because it's nice and narrow. Single camera on the back. Now, just for size comparison, here's some of my favorite other Android tablets. We got the Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. This one is about the same height and width. I can easily grip this in one hand also. IPS LCD panel. We got the OnePlus Pad. Same thing, IPS LCD panel. This one is a little bit wider, so it's hard for me to hold in one hand. And of course, we got my favorite, the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. This one has the Super AMOLED display but it's a lot bigger and wider, so it's not really a one-hand tablet. Okay, again, no fingerprints. One of the things that I love about it and the hazel color, it just looks so exclusive. Now, when you got the tablet on the table, a couple of different ways you can open it up. You could double tap, okay? Let me let this rotate. Double tap, you see your home screen, okay? No always on display. You can swipe up, putting your pad in your pin. No face unlock on this one. But you do have fingerprint sensor on the top. 
which works flawlessly. Let's hit three in a row. Bang, that's two. We'll do one more. Bang, there it is, just like that. So you could press it and hold it if you want, or just tap it. Now, I'm not gonna waste your time going through the settings on this. This is just a nice, clean, stock Android tablet. But it's running Android 13, so you see all of my Android 13 widgets. Okay, that Google clock, I love that one. And of course, my turntable, if I wanna play some music. Just like that, bang, just like, there it is. Swipe over, okay? So now you're gonna get your Google homepage. So if I swipe down, you see I got a bunch of different uh, YouTube video recommendations, but you can add all your streaming services. So if I click more, you see I got my recommendations from Hulu, trending on Google TV. You can add Peacock, Paramount, HBO Max, Disney, whatever you want. And if I click on a movie, it'll just start watching it. Now I'm not gonna click on anything from this because I don't wanna get a copyright strike. All right, now like I said, ain't, ain't, no really, ain't no reason to really go through the settings. You got all your basic quick toggles. I'll just show you the quick settings. Everything is on deck. If you're hearing or visually impaired, all of the settings are in order. Now, Google Home Bar does not move from the bottom. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, now this is the full website. The scrolling speed is excellent. It's not 120 hertz, but it's gonna get the job done. Okay, iPhone 14, <laughs> more trash. Swipe up. Now you can do split screen multitasking. Okay, let's uh, let, let's split something up. Let me see, we'll do, um, let's see. Oh, now here's one thing that I do like. Check this out. You can actually split screen Instagram on this tablet. Oh, firm it up. <laughs> Almost caught me lacking. You can do split screen multitasking with Instagram. Now you can't do that on a lot of other tablets, okay? Now, if you swipe up from the bottom, you see you got a little bar right there. So we can split that. Let's do um, Twitter and Inst uh, the uh, internet at the same time. Look at that. Now you can resize these or just exit right out. Bang, there it is. Beautiful, nice, smooth tablet. You do have some bezels on it, which you actually want because you wanna be able to hold the tablet. Okay, now you can use this in landscape or portrait mode. It's just nice and smooth. All right, so now let's test out the quad stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Now, on a side note, this is probably one of the best tablet accessories that you're gonna find, a wireless charging speaker dock. Listen to the difference in the sound quality when you add it to the dock. First, I'm gonna play it regular. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? That's a bass, baby. How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it. How now, the quad stereo speakers by itself already sounds amazing. But watch this. I'm going to put it on the dock. Listen to the difference. Ah! How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? I'm going to take it off. Put it back on. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Like I said, <laughs> this is a dope accessory, and I hope more manufacturers jump on this bandwagon. Samsung, okay, Apple. This should come with all your tablets. It's a game changer. Now, as far as the wireless charging speaker dock, you do have some dock-specific settings. You can choose your screensaver. So you got Google Photos, Art Gallery, Full Screen Clock, Weather. You got the Weather Frog, or you got your Color Mood. So I'm gonna leave it on weather. We hit next, okay? Choose my account, choose your address. 
Okay, we're gonna name this the bedroom. And we'll see how the clock looks. Okay, now you got default music service. We'll do YouTube music, why not? Video services, we got Disney, Hulu, Paramount, Stars, MGM. Okay, let anybody uh, talk to it. And there it is. So let's go ahead and turn this off and let's see how the animation looks. All right, so now that I got everything set up, here's how my dock screensaver is gonna look. I keep it basic, just the weather and the time. Okay, Google, what's the weather for tomorrow? It'll be rainy there tomorrow with a high of 66 and a low of 64. So this will be perfect for your kitchen, your man cave, or your office. Leave it on the dock just like this. You're going to get better sound. And when you're ready to go portable, pick it up and break out just like that. All right, so now let's check the display. 10.95 inches. Full screen. Excellent viewing angles. And look at the sound with the dock. Beautiful. Then when I'm ready to go portable, pick it up. Doesn't miss a beat. Let's keep it moving. All right, so let's try a little gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Okay, Tensor G2. Not gonna have any issues gaming with this one. Little 360, let's keep it moving. Okay, let me get my drift on. Ooh, pardon me. I need that ramp. Here it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that, I timed that perfectly. Look, I, I gotta get this dude. With 360, let's keep it moving. There it is. Okay, now, I don't know if this uh, video is doing it justice, but the speakers on this tablet, even without the dock, sound insane. Okay, so gaming on your Pixel tablet, no issues at all. All right, so now let's talk about the cameras. Now you're getting a pretty basic set of lenses, but it still uses the Google processing software, so the photos do look pretty good. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got night sight, long exposure. You got portrait, that only works on the front facing camera. You got your regular camera, which you could do up to 5X zoom. You got video, 1080p from the front and on the back, 30 frames per second. You got time lapse, panorama, photosphere, and lens. Now I will say this, here's a quick point and shoot. Photos came out okay. Now you're not buying this to have a full photography session, but if you're in a pinch and you got this tablet in your hand, you wanna be able to shoot decent photos. Now, since it's using the uh, Google processing, you still have stuff like Magic Eraser. Let's do a quick shot. Okay. Now, if I wanna erase that hawk out of here, we'll go to settings, edit. Okay, let's go to Magic Eraser. We'll just circle this and let the software do the rest. Bang, there it is. Now take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
All right, so before I do the RDA test, there's one more thing I wanna talk about with this tablet, a feature that I absolutely love, split screen multitasking, but not just split screen multitasking, with all of your apps, including Instagram. Now let me clarify something real quick. When I did my OnePlus pad review, I said the Instagram did not rotate. Here's the thing, I had an issue with my tablet, it wasn't rotating. My Instagram would not rotate. So somebody hit me up and said, they got the OnePlus pad, there's rotates. So basically I did a factory reset and now it works fine. But here's the thing, you can't do split screen multitasking. Okay, you can't split Instagram. You can split everything else. Okay, we could do YouTube. You see the split screen windows. You could do Twitter. You could do Facebook. But you can't split screen Instagram. Now watch this. With the Galaxy tablets, Instagram does not even rotate. Okay? But with the Pixel tablet, check this out. We can open up Instagram. It does rotate. But if I want to, I can do split screen multitasking. So let's go ahead and split this. We'll do Instagram and the internet at the same time. How dope is that? And it works in either orientation. Now it's gonna be a little bit small, but you're using your tablet like this. How dope is having split screen multitasking for Instagram? And you can resize this. Now if I exit out of this, let's uh, pull up a window. We'll do split. Let's do Twitter. Okay, so we do Twitter. We'll close this one out. Let's uh, let's do Twitter and Instagram at the same time. Look at that. How dope is that? Now this is what I want on my tablet: Instagram and Twitter at the same time. Pretty epic. Okay, and real quick, just for argument's sake, here's the Xiaomi Pad. Same thing. You see, I can split Facebook but you can't split Instagram. The Pixel is the first tablet that I've used that you can do split screen multitasking with Instagram. All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. You just spent 500 bucks on the tablet. Let's see how it performs in the real world. All right, so I'm gonna set this up right next to my bed. So when I go to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna have my screensaver on deck. So I got the time and the weather. Now I can just say, okay, Google, what's my next appointment? Next up, you have Flossy Briefing on July 6th at noon in Microsoft Teams okay. meeting. Now I'm gonna take the tablet off the dock, hit that fingerprint sensor, open this up, bong just like that, swipe over to Google. Let's see what's coming on TV. Now we got Hulu, let's click more. All right, so we got uh, trending on Google TV, popular movies, Renfield, I haven't seen that yet. Cocaine Beer, I watched that, that was pretty good. Let's see anything else, anything new. I right, know real movies, Batman, I already seen that. Shazam, Shazam, who's seen Shazam? <laughs> Fury of the Gods, <laughs> that was a woke fest. <laughs> that, that movie was a little too woke for me. All right, we got crime shows. Let's see what's going down on Pluto. I got Peacock, Hulu. Amazon Prime, okay, Robocop, I might have to check that out. Snake Eyes, all right, Snake Eyes is a dope movie, let's go ahead and check that out. All right, now, I'd have to log into my Amazon to watch it, but I'll show you what videos look like. All right, let's keep scrolling, let's see what's going down in the uh, in the uh, tech sphere. Okay, so we got the Nothing Phone 2 trailer, I haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna watch that, let me go ahead and save that. Okay, some Ed Boon, Mortal Kombat 1 news, the Honor 90 Lite. I'm definitely checking that phone out. Shout out to everybody who's um, looking for that submarine. Hope they find it. Okay, let's see. Skull Candy got new earbuds. Okay, Godzilla versus King Kong, the new empire. Okay, let me go ahead and save that one too. Bunch of new stuff to watch. Exit out of that. All right, so we got the weather right here. We could go ahead and check that. Okay, 67 degrees. Looks like it's going to be a rainy, rainy next couple of days. It is what it is. All right, next, let's do a little work. Okay, so let's take it over to Gmail. Okay, click on some Gmails. Matter of fact, let's go to social. Okay, buy a Samsung Galaxy. Okay, now you see how you can do the um, split view like this? I like that. Tribe got some new speakers. YouTube comments. I can get a reply to this. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Bong, there it is. This is how it's gonna look like when I'm doing my work. And if I want to, I can have it on the dock 
and just do my work like this. Okay, now, no style of support. You're going to have to use your fingers. It is what it is. Exit out of that. Pop it off the dock. Now, let's do a little entertainment. So, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, now, with Twitter, I can use it in either orientation. So, let's go ahead and do it in the uh, portrait mode. Okay, let's see. Let's go to mentions. Let's see what's going down. I haven't been on Twitter in a minute. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. Okay, we got the new carbon black one terabyte Xbox series. That looks like official tissue. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now have you seen? It's called the Techno Phantom X2 Pro. Yeah, I already seen that. This is like, you know, this is like um Techno. I got a phone from them right now, the Camin 20. I'm gonna do that in a couple of days. This is a nice upcoming brand. Let me get in like that. The Techno Phantom X2 Pro. That looks pretty good though, yo. Okay, let's see. Um the Chinese version of the Moto, does it work with the Samsung watch? It sure does. Okay, let's see. We got the Beisus charger. Okay, somebody's getting ready to have a nice Father's Day grill. Let's see. Um, Father's Day gift to myself. Okay, that, 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 that what's up, man? Let me get the invite, Patrick. All right, Patrick Harris with an invite to that. Okay, let's see. Um, shout out to my man. Oh, y'all yeah, see the Beisus charger? I took that on vacation. That was a hit. Let's see anything else. Let's see, iPhone users say split screen multitasking is gimmicky because it hasn't been implemented on the iPhone and they probably don't know. That's 100% correct. Speaking of split screen multitasking, while I'm on Twitter, let's get in and split this real quick. Let's take it right to Instagram at the same time. This is what I love about this tablet. Now, it may seem like I'm making a big deal about that, but this is my first time having split screen multitasking with Instagram on a tablet. And Instagram is one of my favorite apps. We'll come back to that in a minute. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, now Facebook again, portrait or landscape mode. I like it better in portrait mode. Okay. We got the APs out here. Okay. Let's get and um, turn this volume down in a minute. Screwdriver sets. Okay. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Oh, man. Hold up. I, I, I got mine somewhere. I, I just seen it. I got mine somewhere, but oh, look what I just picked up, too. Found one of these. All right, we got a, we got a Star Trek warrior right here. Let's get him like that. I got mine too. Don't worry about it. I got my phase on deck. Okay, let's say that. Um, we turn this down. Silver. Okay. Got the Moisen Night watches. I ain't mad at that. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Anything else we need to see here? Okay. Got the AP. Oh, this is a replica. Mm. Let me go ahead and um. Let me go. Ahead, let me go ahead and screenshot that. Um. Let me. Let me. Let me, get, let, me get, let me hold this tablet correctly. Let me go ahead and screenshot that for for a friend. Save that one for a friend. Hold up. I gotta, um, all right, there it is. I gotta, you gotta hit down to the same time. You gotta save that page for a friend. Might need to check that one back out. Okay. So here's your Facebook. Let's see anything going down on Facebook. Ain't nothing interesting going down. Okay, what is this now? Let's see. Real spade players only. Real spade players only. How many books do you see? Now, if this was my hand, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. Six. Well, hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going eight. I'm going eight, possibly nine. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going eight, possibly nine. I mean, that's definitely a Boston right there. Okay, so we got some new ice <laughs> hip hop bling. I right, should shout to my pops. This is Father's Day. I right, we was doing it big that day. This was um we went to dinner the other night. All right. Anyway, so as your Facebook is gonna look, we can X out of that. Okay, got all these apps running at the same time. But let's get in clear that. Boom. Next, what's after Facebook? Let's go to TikTok. All right, let's see what's going down on TikTok. Now, TikTok does rotate also. Okay. Okay, so got a little... My okay. <laughs> okay. Remember, um, what was his name? Um, The Escalade. The Escalade. Let's get and get this in full screen. I used to watch the N1 mixtapes back in the days. For, that, for, for a man to be that size, doing the stuff he was doing, he was a legend. All right, the Escalade. <laughs> That's a dope nickname, too. All right, let's see what's going down. Now, let's see. Are they going to turn this into, like, an animated figure? Oh, that's pretty dope, yo. That's pretty dope. They turned him into the God of War. All right, that's pretty dope. All right, so we got the uh, Toyota Sienna. Yo, these new cars, man. Whew, that, that, this is a Toyota right here? Why my voice got mad high? Is the door right there? All right, let's see. Let's see. My, let's see my. Let's see my guy right. Let's see if they turn him into the uh, God of War. Let's see. Because I think if you got a beard, you automatically. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, they turned him into a villain from Archer. Uh, Y'all remember the, the, the show Archer? <laughs> he looked like a villain. All right, so we got some Ricky Rose. All right, I'm not trying to see no police brutality. Oh, what is this? Okay, let's see. He's taking off from before the foul line. That was from way before the foul line. Oh, that was legit. That was legit. That was definitely legit. Look how that was a full step before the foul line. I respect that. Everybody using this app? Okay. Right, what is this? All right. Oh, look at this. That activated my fat glands immediately. That looks like a real lobster roll right there. That's the kind of lobster that I'm talking about, right? I don't even want to watch that shit. Like I said, man, I hope they find that submarine, man. That's a hard way to go. That is a hard way to go. All right, so here's your TikTok. And again, you swipe up, you get your little dock right there. I can hit multiple apps. I could grab Instagram. And now I'm on TikTok and Instagram at the same time. This is how I want to spend my time. Okay, these are like two of my apps that I use when I'm killing time. Instagram at the same time. All right, but let's I'm just going to exit out of this. Okay, just Instagram. Now, Instagram, if you're using it in our landscape mode, not the best. Portrait mode, you get the full glory. Okay, so we got the Spider-Verse Jordans. Uh, what do you think about those shoes? Since you're coming in hot like that, I don't know. They look all right. Okay, we got HaHa -Ha Davis. <laughs> He's doing some dumb shit. Okay, look, what is this? Okay, tap and pay. Tina Turner's son out here eating cocaine. <laughs> Just eating it. Okay, people out here eating cocaine. That's that's how y'all doing it now. Okay, let's see. Technology that made me did the risk of some red tape. Damn you, heartbreaking stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything else? All right. So was Instagram nice and clean today? You know, Instagram looking nice and clean, looking very family friendly. Okay. Let's see, AI artists reimagines our favorite musicians as toddlers. Okay. AI is getting pretty scary these days. All right. Some Nas right there. Let me go ahead and uh, I was going to save that, but I'll come back later. RIP to one of the legends, my man K Slay. Okay. Lotto explains why she continues to keep boyfriend identity hidden unsuccessfully. Uh, you know, I don't. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. Shout out to my man Joe. Here, you okay, got the little cats. All right, now this is pretty dope. When you're watching your Instagram, if you want to, let's go to let's go to my page right where, where it's nice and clean. I can throw this on the dock. All right, make sure you got the pins the right way. Okay, throw this on the dock. Let's get some volume. Now, if I want to watch some videos, you know, you're gonna have a different sound, different level of sound. This is me trolling with Amaya. We'll exit out of Instagram. Instagram looking good, though. But let's go to YouTube. All right, so now I say I want to watch some videos. Let's, um, let's go to my channel. This way, you know, keep it clean. Keep it classy. All right. Say I want to watch a video. Let's do a video that has some music playing. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. See how loud it is? It's the scared of shoes. Full screen. Now when I'm doing my work, got the music playing. Yeah, you hear the difference? You hear the difference that speaker makes? That's pretty impressive. Okay, got picture in picture. Or we could just exit out of that. Let's go back to our uh, YouTube. Let's try something else. Let's do something with a little uh, background. Okay, let's see. Now, if I want to, let me pause for a second. Now, if I want to set this up in my kitchen, okay, while I'm cooking, have some music going, it'll look just like that. I'm chefing it up, watching my videos with excellent sound. This is dope. Overall, okay, overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give the Google Pixel tablet a major, major, major go. And for 500 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. You really can't complain. You get the wireless charging speaker dock. Okay, so not only are you getting better sound, but when you use the dock, it's actually charging up. So this way, if you run your cables behind your desk, you never have to plug this in. You can leave it like this, set up a bunch of different screensavers, and then when I'm ready to walk around the house, pop it right off, palm it in one hand, okay? Take it over to Instagram and just chill. 
So now while I'm on Instagram, let's find something. Um, <laughs> let's find. Okay, all right, so now I'm walking around Instagram chilling. When I get back to the bedroom, throw this on just like that and rock out. The only thing missing from this would be a stylus. Okay, if it had a stylus support, I would have gave it the uh, full endorsement. But for 500 bucks, you really can't complain. Five years security updates. It works with all your Google accessories. So you can also use this with your Pixel phone. So if you send in a text message, take it to you. Um, let me say that again. If you're sending or receiving text messages, you can do it right from the tablet when you pair it up with your phone. You can pair it up to all your Google Home devices. So when you get home, you say, okay, Google, turn the lights on, turn the TV on, turn the air conditioner on, whatever you got going crazy. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> just listening. And of course, it's a Google device. So it's gonna be simple, clean, smooth, no lag, no hiccups at all. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How much is the Pixel tablet? Here's a result from search. Okay. And we could just click on this and just rock out. All right, now, let's see, let's see the reviews on this one. Let's see, LCD. So far, I mean, I haven't seen anything negative about it. I like it. I think you're going to like it. But most importantly, you're going to like this little speaker dock on the back. What a beautiful accessory. Okay. Apple needs to come out with this. Samsung needs to come out with this. This should be a mandatory tablet accessory. Imagine a big tablet with a bigger speaker on the back. That would be crazy. Anyway, this is the Google Pixel tablet. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls. Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss and Matt. Peace. Spot one to be me. Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.